Installing an easy effort sealing chin and bar is relatively simple. You will need a stud finder to locate the studs in your ceiling. Mark it with a pencil, drill a pilot hole with a quarter inch drill bit, uh, put the brackets on, the various uh, brackets that are uh, associated with the easy effort line, anything from the low profile like this one to the uh, two foot glacier plus. Um, Use an impact wrench, the heavy 5 16 light bolt and fender washer and screw right through the, the, the sheetrock until it comes in contact. The installation is very simple and easy. It's based on 32 inches from center to center. Most homes are 16 inches on center. You find your stud with your stud finder, skip one and go to the other one. On occasion, in a garage package, in unusual construction, you may not have 16 inch centers, you may have 2 foot centers, you may have something totally different. Don't fret, there's a very easy and simple way to get around this and be able to install your city mount chin -up bar. In addition, even if you had the correct spacing, uh, you may not want to put it in that direction. For example, in this room, the ceiling joists are going this way. So if we were to mount our chin-up bar with the ceiling joists, I would be facing in this direction and exercising in this direction. As it happens, I don't want to be in that direction. I want to turn it this way. Very simple solution. We, we bridge our two ceiling joists. First we mark them, then we get a 2x6 or a 2x4. I like the 2x6 because 2x4s uh, are such uh, shabby pieces of uh, uh, wood, it's hard to find a good one in the lumber yard. For the extra $2, uh, get a 2x6. I've cut it a little bit longer than my span from ceiling joist to ceiling joist. These are running this way. I want to span this so I can put my ceiling mount bar facing this direction. Simply, I've marked it up there, I've marked it here, I pre-drilled these holes, I've got three and a half inch by quarter inch long lag screws, they go through the sheetrock into the wood above. I get my impact wrench here, which makes things a lot easier, and we'll install one side of this ceiling bridge. Uh, let's see, yeah, that's up there. We've attached the one side from ceiling joist to ceiling joist. We're going to attach another one. This one is going to be spaced that 32 inches uh, or whatever your bar is uh, from center to center of the 2 by 6 I've got it marked. I've got the light screws there. And up I go into the ceiling.